Hi everyone, this is Travis Quadlander here at Rush Truck Center's Dallas Peterbilt. And today we are looking at a beautiful, legendary red 2024 Peterbilt 389 with a 72 inch flat top platinum sleeper. This is a beautiful truck and great news. This truck, as well as several more with this, this exact same spec and color are on the ground, ready to roll and available now. These are truly some of the last of the Mohicans. Um, we've got several of these Peterbilt 389s with very similar specs on the ground, ready to roll. Again, this is the legendary red Peterbilt 389 with a 72 inch flat top platinum sleeper. We also have a legendary black 2024 Peterbilt 389 with a 78 inch platinum sleeper. And we also have a legendary blue 2024 Peterbilt 389 with a 58 inch flat top sleeper with the platinum interior as well. All three of these specs, we have multiple units. The color for each sleeper size is the same. So no, unfortunately I don't have a legendary red in a 78 inch or a legendary blue in this 72 inch. All the 72 inch flat tops are this legendary red. All the 78 inch flat tops are the legendary black and all the legendary blue flat tops are in the 58 inch uh, flat top. That's not to say that there's not some more onesie twosies out there in different colors and different specs, but when it comes to this similar spec that we're discussing here and on the uh, recent video that I posted where I was just talking over the photos, let's talk about the common specs on these trucks. All three of these uh, different sleeper configurations are gonna be powered by a Cummins X15 performance series engine with the 565 horsepower and that ha oh, oh, ha oh. 20, 50 pound feet of torque. All of them are gonna be paired to an Eaton Fuller 18 speed manual transmission. All of them are gonna have a 355 gear ratio. All of them are gonna have an air ride front suspension and a lower leaf rear suspension. All of them are gonna be a very nice owner operator spec with platinum interior, uh, premium uh, leather air ride seats. Um, just really great specs on these trucks. Um, and all three of those specs, all three of those sleeper sizes are on the ground, ready to roll. We've got multiple units. In addition to all that, all these trucks are gonna have the California certified clean idle sticker as well as your CARB certification from the factory. So uh, if you operate in California, uh, you're ever gonna be in one of these CARB compliant states. Uh, you want a, some sort of extended warranty or you wanna add an extended warranty at a later date, having that California certified clean idle as well as your CARB certification from the factory are really gonna benefit you. Uh, so great owner operator spec, great specs. They're available now, literally some of the last of the Mohicans as Peterbilt um, stopped making the 389 in December. So the trucks that are out there, these are literally the last new Peterbilts that you're gonna be able to get. Let's talk about a little bit more about the specs on this truck. Of course, this color is legendary red. It is a beautiful day here at Rush Peterbilt in Dallas. The sun is shining perfectly on this legendary red paint. It looks incredible just got it washed. Again, pictures and video, they give you a, a fairly good representation of it, but to really appreciate how much these legendary paints sparkle in the direct sunlight, you really need to see it in person. It's a three-stage paint. It's literally got glass flake in the paint to make it sparkle, and it looks incredible. Um, to get these legendary paints from the factory, you can only get them from the factory on a Peterbilt. Other manufacturers cannot get these legendary paints from the factory. Now, if someone takes a truck somewhere um, and a paint or body shop is able to get these legendary paints and they wanna custom paint them in the future, they may be able to do them. Um, I know not every body shop is able to order legendary paints and a lot of body shops don't like to order legendary paint even if they have the ability to do so because it is not cheap. But that legendary paint, 
well worth the $2,500 premium, in my opinion. So, uh, <laughs> enough about the paint. We can talk about that a lot more. It's a beautiful color. I think legendary red is one of the best colors to show the, uh, the metallic and glass flake on there. Let's talk about these chrome pipes. You got true dual exhaust. It's the seven inch dual exhaust with the 60 inch height tips. Those are the largest, tallest exhaust that you can get from the factory. Got the uh, premium fairing with the grab handle, your chrome finish over the elbow. And you can see your Y pipe right there. That is a true dual exhaust right there. And then you can see right next to it, you do have your Kisling battery disconnect switch. We've also got battery jumper term terminals mounted on the front of the battery. Helps if I have the camera pointed in the right direction. So there's the jumper terminals. In case I didn't have the camera in the right direction, there's your disconnect switch and your Y pipe. Got the radio antenna mounted on top of the cab. Five bullet marker lights. Obviously we can swap those out, add additional marker lights if you want. We've got a factory stainless steel visor. We can swap that out for a drop visor, painted stainless steel, however you want it. Gotta love the split window design on the 389. Really like that we did moto mirrors on these mirrors. That's a really cool old school look. I really like the moto mirrors. The mirrors themselves are smaller than the standard or the aerodynamic ones, but I really like just how clean the reflection looks in the moto mirrors and you can't argue with that old school look. Of course, you got your spot mirrors and then your additional turn signals mounted on the mirrors. A lot of times we'll swap those out for a different look, whether it be just clear lens or watermelon lenses um, or even just the uh, kind of angled ones with the little LED lights. A lot of different options there. Peterbilt Premium 15 inch stainless steel breathers with the uh, stamped oval grill mesh on the 589. You've seen that we've changed, they've changed that to a uh, rectangular grill mesh as a homage to the uh, 359 and 379. So kind of a cool thing that's going away on the 389 is the uh, stamped oval grill mesh. Another great look at that legendary paint. Kind of a unique wheel and tire combo on these trucks. We do have an air ride front suspension and a low air leaf rear suspension, all Dana axles. Up front, we've got Goodyear Endurance, Goodyear Endurance LHS steer tires. Those are low pro 225s with the Peterbilt ovals. And in the year, in the rears, the drive tires, we've got Goodyear tires, and these are 11R225. So why would you want to do that? Well, there's different reasons why you would want to do that. Um, some of it has to do with looks. Some of that has to do with performance. Um, let's talk about one example. So if you want kind of an old school look with the Low Pro 225. Also, a low pro 225 is the most readily available tire out there. Um, if you want to add a drop switch to the steer axle, um, the smaller that front tire is, the more of a slammed look uh, you can get on there. Now, if you want to go with a larger tire, then it's obviously going to fill, fill up the wheel well more. So it's all about kind of what you want and what stance that you want it to be at. Again, low pro 225s are the most readily available tire out there. There's no power going to those steer tires, so it's not as important on your fuel efficiency, the size of those tires. Now in the rear, this truck is specced with 11R225s. If you want this truck to have all 11R225s all the way around, all low pro 225s all the way around, all low pro 24.5s or all 11 R 24.5s. We can make that happen for you. We can swap them out. We can reprogram the computer um, to uh, show the correct um, 
uh, miles per hour as well as your correct odometer readings. It's not difficult to do, but it does have to be programmed. So why would you go low pro 22.5s in the front and 11R 22.5s in the rear? Well, if you need to have a higher fifth wheel height, you're able to do that. Also, the larger your tire is, the fewer revolutions you need to go over the same distance. So for example, over one mile, a low pro 22.5 is gonna to have to rotate quite a few more times than the other end of the spectrum, 11R 24.5. Now even this 11R 22.5 is still gonna require fewer rotations to go the same distance that a low pro 22.5 is. So fewer rotations to go the same distance, inherently you should get better uh, fuel efficiency now. A larger tire also uh, requires kind of more starting power, so you can offset some of that fuel efficiency. And a larger tire is also gonna flex more, so you can offset some of that fuel efficiency. So there's several things that you want to look at when it comes to tire size. Don't let the offset tire size scare you with the smaller tire up front and a larger tire in the rear. Happy to talk to you more about that. Um, if you want a different tire size, again, we can make that happen, whatever tire size that you want, and we will get a credit for the takeoffs as well. So again, don't let the offset tire size scare you. You see it in performance vehicles all the time. So uh, hopefully I didn't lose anybody there, <laughs> but let's get back into it. We've got a Holland FW35 with an air slide. This truck's also got fifth wheel ramps going to the fifth wheel as well. On the back of the sleeper, we have a uh, dark tinted rear window. You've got your CB radio on the back of the sleeper for a nice clean look. I'd probably wanna put a shorter antenna on this truck, but if you like that long antenna, um, by all means we can keep it, but I'd probably swap it out for a shorter one just for the look if you need to really reach out there and touch someone over the CB. Obviously the larger CB antenna is going to help you out there. You've also got six flush mounted load lights. That's the most that you could have gotten from the factory with the flush mount. Of course we can swap those out for many different options whether it be the four inch LED ones, um, watermelon ones. I mean there's quite a few different options. Deck plate access on both sides which means you get the three grab handles. Very easy to get uh, on up on top of the duck plate. We've got your Z-bar and pogo stick mounted right here up against the sleeper. If that needs to be relocated, we can do that. Of course, you love that we've got the air ride for the cab and sleeper. Got additional toolboxes on both sides. And we've got the 27 inch tube mount Hodge built quarter fenders. These are not the largest ones that you can get from the factory, but when it comes to Hodge built fenders, if you really got like this old school look with the three bars, these are the only Hodge built fenders that you can get from the factory with that option. So it is a really cool look. Also, um, they don't have the three or four mirror finish on these ones. Um, so even though they might not have the brightest overall finish, it's probably a little bit easier to just generally maintain. So it might not be the overall brightest ones, but in terms of keeping them looking still really nice, they're a little bit easier to keep clean, in my opinion. 90 gallon fuel tank over here on the uh, driver's side, stainless steel cover over the def tank. Stainless steel quarter fenders, of course, spring mounted, so you don't have to worry about damaging them. They have the angled ends on there. You've also got the four inch circular LED backup and tail lights mounted underneath the frame. So if you're gonna do any type of uh, special lighting back there, very easy to change out. Hundred fifty gallon fuel tank over here. In addition to the load lights, we have an additional load light uh, switch 
So you've got uh, 10 feet of wiring underneath the sleeper in case you want to add any extra type of lighting on there. Give you kind of a look of what the legendary red looks like kind of in the shade since we're on the opposite side of the truck. Coming to the front of the truck, I mean, is there a better looking truck out there on the road than that 389 hood coming at you? Beautiful truck. Went with the uh, Texas style 18 inch chrome bumper. This is the largest bumper you can get from the factory with the factory tow pin holes on there as well. Such a beautiful truck. All right, if you've been watching the channel, we're gonna harp on it some more. Uh, one more time to appreciate, appreciate that legendary red paint, but let's talk about it. The thorn in our side, or <laughs> just the, uh, I don't know, the regulation that's being forced upon us. This California certified clean idle sticker. We order these trucks from the factory with the California certified clean idle sticker. They are also carb compliant. So your engine and after treatment on any new Peterbilt is gonna have a two year, 250,000 mile warranty. Since we ordered these with the California clean idle sticker um, and the carb compliant, uh, sorry, the carb compliant is what gives you the additional warranty for the after treatment. So your after treatment is actually increased to a five year, 350,000 mile warranty this is a cost of about $3,500. So even if you're never gonna operate in California, you have no value for any of this certified clean idle stuff or carb certification or anything like that, if you're gonna add an extended warranty to the truck, your extended warranty is about $3,500 cheaper than it would be without this carb certification. So uh, still has some value even if you have no need for uh, operating or registering in California or worrying about uh, future owners may be in, in California. Now, even if you aren't gonna operate in those areas, when it comes to selling the truck, having the certified clean idle sticker and the carb certification from the factory allows California customers that wanna buy the truck right now, whether you register or domicile in California or future customers that will buy the truck on the used market, they'll be able to purchase these trucks. So, um, plenty of value there, whether you're gonna be in California or not. Let's take a look inside. Again, it's a 72 inch platinum sleeper. We went with the Arctic gray interior. Stamped weight on this truck from the factory. Let's see if we can't cover up the sun a little bit, but it's 18,246 pounds is the stamped weight from the factory on this truck. Got the Peterbilt Premium Leather Air Ride Seats. I really like these Peterbilt Premium Leather Air Ride Seats. I do think that they hold up over time um, to wear better than the Sears Atlas 80. And they also have more customization when it comes to your air controls. Leather may not be as soft as the uh, ultra leather seats, but in terms of being able to stand up to wear over time, I think these stand up to wear over time. And if ergonomic support is important to you, you've definitely got better seat bolstering, uh, especially on the sides of these seats. Went with the uh, premium smart wheel. So you've got your leather wrap and of course your steering wheel mounted cruise control audio and Bluetooth controls, and then your digital dash controls right there. This truck came from, we ordered the trucks from the factory with the CB radio, which means you get this nice housing around it. And we also ordered these trucks with the external speaker and the headliner for the CB radio. All gauges in the B panel. So you've got eight physical gauges and eight air switches for a really clean, uniform look. There's a look at our 18-speed manual transmission. It's also got the chrome shifter upgrade. Taking a look, 
Well, there's my finger, but let's take a look at the 72 inch flat top platinum sleeper with the rear window. You do have a full um, vinyl cover to cover up the window. We also have the door cover as well to help out with insulation. It is nice to have that full door loading your items in and out so you don't have to go through the cab and open it up very easy. Of course, you can vent these windows either forward or backward, and that's on both sides of the sleeper. Love the little storage compartment at the head of the bed right here. Sorry, let me angle that camera down. Lifting up the mattress. We do have a premium mattress in here. Lifting up the mattress is very easy. Just pull on that tab right there. And even though this is a 72 inch sleeper as compared to the 78 inch, it still has tons of storage space underneath the sleeper. Love this little recessed pocket that you can put like loose items in. And I love that it is recessed. So you have a little bit of foot, a little bit more foot room underneath the, the mattress as well. AC vents on both sides of the sleeper so you stay comfortable. Plenty of storage pockets up here, up here, and up here. You cannot get a, uh, refrigerator from the factory on a 72 inch flat top. But if you've seen uh, some of my 72 inch flat tops before, very often we'll put a fridge right here that'll have a carpeted lined shelf right here. You will lose that door or we can go with the Iowa Customs uh, closet microwave combo over here. Both are great options. These trucks were specced with the business center, so you've got this tray that slides out. Storage underneath there. You can have your meals, work on a laptop or a tablet right there. You've got these plastic storage containers that come out, two of those. One thing you're, I can't, uh, you do, I guess, I'm not sure if it's showing up great on the video, but these, door, these drawers kind of have a locking position whenever you slide them out. So it's right there and then it locks out. So one thing that Peterbilt is really proud of is when you want a door or a closet open, it stays open. When you want it closed, it stays closed. Same thing goes with those drawers. It's kind of nice that they have that locking uh, feature whenever you slide them out. It's not just sliding loosely. Um, since we are back here, we'll take another opportunity to show one thing I like about the Peterbilt premium seats is you do get the swing back armrests, which gives you um, more hip space in between the seats going to and from the cab and sleeper. Full curtain to close out the sleeper as well. There's a look at our beautiful legacy cab. Such a tried and true cab. Beautiful. And of course, that right there is the best view in trucking. All you need to do is point that Peterbilt wing on the horizon and keep on trucking. These trucks do have keyless entry as well. Just like on the grill mesh, on the breathers, on the front grill, we have our stainless steel stamped oval grill on the 389 again. That's stainless steel, it's not plastic, it's gonna protect your radiator. Um, so you're able to finish your job even if you get some road debris and some cosmetic damage. You can still finish your load and worry about the cosmetic stuff later. Of course, we have an all aluminum hood which makes it very easy to open and close that hood, I'm doing that one-handed while I'm filming, which means you and your driver is gonna be much more likely to do their pre-trip inspections to find any minor issues before they become major ones. And of course, that right there is our beautiful Cummins X15 Performance Series engine. 
with 565 horsepower and 1850 pound-feet of torque. Went with the uh, Davco 382 upgraded fuel water separator. We've got remote lube points. Got the Teflon springs, so you don't have to worry about greasing the springs. And then you've got your ride like a cloud air ride front suspension and disc brakes up front on this truck. Get that hood closed up. Don't worry, I'll lock the hood latch on the other side before I park her. But there's a look at our beautiful, legendary red 2024 Peterbilt 389 with 72 inch flat top, platinum sleeper. Again, we've got this truck on the ground, ready to roll and available now. We have this same exact spec and color in multiple units. We have similar spec trucks and a legendary black with a 78 inch uh, high roof sleeper. Again, platinum interior, as well as a legendary blue with a 58 inch flat top platinum sleeper. Again, multiple units of all three of these sleeper configurations. Truly some of the last of the Mohicans, some of the very last new Peterbilts that you can get new from the factory. I'd love to put your name on some of these trucks. We can put them to work as is, they're ready to go. If you wanna do custom dress up on them, we're happy to do that. We have plenty of parts available. If we need to order parts, we're very capable of doing custom work for you. Give me a call, my name is Travis Quadlander. I'm here at Rush Truck Center's Dallas Peterbilt right here in Irving, Texas. My cell is 817-504. 7220. Hablo Espanol por llamarme a 817 504 7220. Or come see us at Rush Truck Center's Dallas Peterbilt right here in Irving, Texas, off of Loop 12 in Union Bauer. As always, I want to thank everyone in the trucking and transportation industry. Y'all truly are the backbone of our country and keep us running when we need you the most. Um, it's definitely some trying times in the industry. It's starting to feel like things are turning around and I hope that's the case for all of you out there. Again, thank you for all that you do. We're gonna do the best that we can to honor you, support, support you and show our appreciation for you. I look forward to hearing from you. Drive safe.